Hey guys, what's up? This is Mystical from a cup of death.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to skin your Summoner's Rift or actually you can do it with Twisted Tree Line or any of the different maps on League of Legends. So the first thing you're going to need to do in order to skin over the default skin that's on League of Legends is to go to two different websites. The first one is here in the taskbar you can see it and I'll have these links in the description as well but it's yurixyworks.com and the second one is for SIU um, which is Skin Installer Ultimate um, which just as it says here on the website is, is a program made to help you easily install and uninstall skins in the League of Legends video game and by going here again I'll put it in the uh, description below by going to this URL you can download the latest version of that once you have the latest version of SIU, over here at Yurix Works, this is the <clears throat> website that I use most of or whatever, they have all of the different um, skins and stuff that you can download. And if you click here and just go to skins, listed right here, map skins, summoner's rift, and map skins for twisted tree line, and you can click on any of them and download. So for example, we'll download uh, vintage rift because I don't have that one installed yet. You click on it, it shows you, you know, what it is or whatever, screenshots and all that. Basically, it's just the old version of Summoner's Rift um, before, you know, they actually updated it to the latest one. So it just gives you that old style look. And you just would go down, click on Get or whatever, which would take you down. You know, Download. Download will start. And you can see it there, which will cut it. Close that open up here I have it all saved in a games folder the software once you install it so we will just paste in there and once you have the skin installer the SIU installed you're just gonna open it up after you download you know whatever one of those skins you want and once it opens up it takes just a few seconds here on the screen while it loads everything up for you and then once it's loaded up here you can see the um, you know interface you have it's, it starts on the, the tab install existing skin if you're installing a new skin you actually want to click on this add new skin here and all you have to do is wherever you save that that zip file or rar file or whatever type of file it is um, but wherever you save that archive file you're just gonna drag that over here into the box once you were on the add new skin it drags it says successfully added however many files you're gonna click OK and then it's gonna ask if you're done you're gonna click yes I'm done adding files finalize the skin it's gonna want you to give it a name since this one was vintage rift we'll call it vintage rift click OK and it says it added it so we'll click OK one more time and now it's gonna be listed under the install existence skin so here's where you have all the different skins that you're able to install or whatever. All you do is check mark on whatever box you want to install and you're going to click install, which I'll show you here in just one second. And then to uninstall, I'm going to show you, you actually just click the check box and click uninstall. I already had the heroin rift, the autumn um, one installed on League of Legends. So we'll go ahead and uninstall that so I can walk you through the process of actually installing one of these skins, which is actually very, very easy. Um, when you uninstall, it says the program's not responding and stuff, and it kind of jacks up a little bit. It's actually okay, and it's actually normal. You don't want to do anything. You want to let it go through its whole process to uninstall itself. That way, you actually don't mess anything up, because if by chance you mess something up, um, it is easy to fix it. You just have to actually open up League of Legends and use the repair section. So we uninstalled the Autumn. Um, skin we're going to go ahead and just reinstall just to show you how it works but you're going to click on install here all these you're going to leave check just hit save it's going to start installing it this is going to pop up uh, depending on some skins you have to uncheck this some it works i just uncheck it every time because it makes it easier it's this first option on the top left so i just un uncheck it and that way it always works for me hit done um, if you don't sometimes you'll get blue you know everything will look blue like the the shop and everything inside the game so it's always safe just to uncheck it um, at least so far for me that's always you know made it work for me like I said if for some reason you do mess it up all you have to do is use the repair function inside of the League of Legends options when you actually open up the game 
Um, so as you can see here, the bottom progress bar to install in. It'll run through that once it's done installing. We'll go ahead and open up League and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, now that it's done installing, it'll give you an install complete, installed 88 files, skip zero files, so we'll click OK, and we're done. We can actually close all of this out. We don't need any of it open anymore, so we'll go ahead and close it out. And then we can go ahead and open up League of Legends. It's actually all done. So all you do, hit your play button, log on into the game. <clears throat> And then one question a lot of people ask is if this is legal or not, if, if you can get banned for doing this. And it's actually okay to do these mods. They're just visual mods, um, which is really nice. Okay, so we will go ahead and just watch a match. That way you guys can actually see here the skin once it loads up and let you have a look at it. Okay, and we're loaded into the game, and you can actually see here Summoner's Rift is now different. And it's actually Autumn Rift now. So all the colors and everything are different. So, you know, just a little bit different than what you're normally used to seeing or whatever. Um, and there's all kinds of different mods. I mean, there's even one where it turns the whole um, Summoner's Rift into like a beach, um, you know, which is really cool. So you can do all that different stuff, you know. Has, I mean, everything, you know, just the color schemes just gives you a fresh look when you're playing. Like I said, this one's for autumn. There's one for winter, you know, with all the snow and everything that looks really cool. Has the frozen lake in the middle. All that different stuff. So definitely, so definitely worth checking out. Definitely something that I think you should try. It's very easy to do. Not as complicated as you think. And it definitely gives you something fresh to look at when you're playing League of Legends. Um, even though it's just small changes like color schemes and stuff. Um, it definitely, you know, keeps it fresh and stuff when you're playing. So, definitely recommend that you guys check it out. If you have any questions, please feel free to post a comment below in the section of our YouTube video. And we'll be more than happy to help you out with that. Also, you might want to... Um, like and favorite the video that way if you have any issues with the install or anything when you go to do it you'll be able to come back and um, ask questions or whatever like that and also if it helps you out please go ahead and subscribe to our channel that helps us out tremendously we would greatly appreciate it um, and like i said it just allows us to keep doing this stuff uh, for you guys all right guys until next time i'll see you guys in the game later